Breaking space news. We were wrong about dark energy. It still exists, but everything we thought we knew about it was wrong. Probably. Depending on which data sets you use, it's between a 99.74 and 99.9987% chance the standard model of cosmology, including our understanding of dark energy, is wrong. And it's all because of the recent data dump from DESI, the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument. Last year, I posted a similar video. Back then, DESI released their first year of data, giving tantalizing evidence that the cosmological constant, which is what we thought was responsible for dark energy, wasn't actually constant. And literally hours ago, the DESI collaboration released their first three years of data along with a similar analysis. The result? The same as before, but now with more data and correspondingly more confidence. Now, what they actually measured was the positions of nearly 15 million galaxies in space. Using this information, they can create a wildly accurate 3D map of the universe. It's this map that can be utilized to obtain new information about the expansion history of the universe, and hence also about dark energy. And how that works goes something like this. In the very early universe, like Big Bang early, quantum fluctuations led to regions of space that were slightly more dense than other regions. As a result of gravity, they began to collapse, shrinking in size. However, the light bouncing around the collapsing matter got higher and higher in energy as the matter collapsed until it eventually bounced back, causing the collapsing overdensity to re-expand. Depending on the amount of time the original collapse took, this might happen over and over again, becoming what are known as baryon acoustic oscillations. Importantly, however, after around 380,000 years, at the moment of recombination, the universe became transparent and the light couldn't force the matter to re-expand anymore, so all the oscillations stopped. What was left were essentially hollow spheres of different sizes, depending on how far along the oscillations got. And it turns out that those spheres that arose from exactly one long oscillation have the biggest effect on the resulting universe. Matter tended to clump around them, seeding the large-scale structure of the universe. And this is what DESI is measuring, the sizes of these biggest spheres over time. See, as the universe has expanded, the spheres have grown. So if we look at distant galaxies and measure the size of the spheres, we'll know how much the universe had expanded by then. But by doing this at many different distances, we get a history of the expansion of the universe. And this expansion history can be compared with what's predicted from the standard model of cosmology, which includes a constant amount of dark energy, a cosmological constant. And, well, it turns out that when you combine the DESI data with other data from other surveys, the expansion history just doesn't match a universe with constant dark energy. Rather, the data favors a universe with dynamical dark energy, and it seems to be getting weaker. So what does that mean? Well, it's hard to say for certain, but it might mean the universe recollapses, in which case, what happens next?